In this video, we're going to show you how to install the driver's side rear wheel hub on your Ford 500 located behind your rear wheel. Process for the driver's side is the same as the passenger side. If you have a hubcap, go ahead and pop that off. Using your 19 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the lug nuts. With the lug nuts removed, grab the wheel, pull it off and set it aside. Using a 13 millimeter wrench, we're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove the two bolts holding our caliper to the bracket. I'm gonna spin those out and remove them. Using a small pry bar, go ahead and work the caliper off. Now that we have our caliper off, I'm gonna go ahead and push this over and set that on top of the link arm here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our caliper bracket. On the back side, there's two 15 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna get a ratchet on there. Removed. I'm going to do the same for the upper. I'm going to hold on to that caliper bracket when you remove this bolt. Remove that bolt and then slide the caliper bracket with the pads off. Set that aside. Now, in our particular rotor here, we have a T. 40 Torx bit screw or bolt right here that is going through to the face of the wheel hub. Now, if your vehicle does not have this, it's not critical to the operation of the vehicle. Ours happens to have it, so we're gonna loosen and remove it. Once you have that out, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that rotor, set it aside. Using a 32 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove the axle nut here. And we want to go ahead and check and make sure that our axle here moves freely from the center of the hub on the splines. You give it a push and our axle is stuck right there. So we're going to use a dead blow hammer. Now, if the dead blow hammer doesn't work, you can use a punch in the middle. Go ahead and hit that. shaft itself is moving. And there we go. So our splines are free from the wheel hub itself. On the back side of the knuckle, you're going to find four 15 millimeter bolts holding that wheel hub. There's two on this side here and there's two on the forward side. We're going to use our swivel socket extension and loosen and remove these. The two forward mounted bolts, we're going to have to use a shallow socket and a ratchet. You can use a breaker bar as well to go ahead and break those free. There isn't enough room to get our impact gun in there, so let's go ahead and loosen those. We 
Once you have those broken free, switch over to your ratchet and try and zip those out. I'm gonna repeat that process for the last bolt. We're gonna use a securing strap here. And we want to anchor our brake caliper up out of the way. this point here, we can go ahead and start working our hub out of the knuckle. Using our hammer, we're going to hit the back side of uh, the flange on the wheel hub. We want to go ahead and separate the back side of the bearing from the knuckle. And push that off and there is a wheel bearing. Inside the knuckle here is the back side of the wheel bearing. This is just a metal trim plate. We're going to use our flathead screwdriver and just gently pry this out, working our way around. We just want to pop that out like so. Now inside the knuckle here on the bottom at roughly about six o'clock is your ABS speed sensor. If you want to, you can go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom side and pull that sensor out. If you do damages here, you're going to have to replace it. In our case, we can go ahead and simply work around it. And what we're going to do is take a half round file and we just want to clean up the ridge of corrosion in here. Just gently cleaning that, you're not taking away any metal. You can also use a little bit of sandpaper if you want. Once you have that cleaned up, just going to spray around with some solvent, clean that up. Going to give that a wipe down. Not only do we want to clean that, but we also want to check the perimeter here, make sure that the face of where the new wheel hub is going to sit is flush and clean. Clean the splines on the axle. Now take your new hub, you wanna go ahead and apply some anti-seize compound around the flange here. Don't get it onto the AVS tone ring pickup. We also applied some anti-seize compound to the splines on the axle shaft here. I'm gonna lift up that axle and slide the hub into place. I'm gonna go ahead and install one of our lower bolts. Now what we did was we did go through and use our wire wheel to clean the threads on the bolt and we applied some new blue Loctite on these threads. I'm gonna try and thread this in. Now if those don't thread in right away, it's simply gonna grab that knuckle or grab that wheel hub and move that around just a little bit where you can get the threads caught. And we just by hand with that socket and extension, gonna go ahead and run one of those bolts in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and install the other three. going to tighten these down. I want to make sure we have that flexibility to move that wheel hub around to get the other bolts lined up and installed. We can remove our securing strap from our caliper. We're going to tuck that caliper 
back right up here and move that strap. Gonna set our two bolts in here. And we're just gonna work that hub around, and get these bolts started. Once we have them started, we can go ahead and snug them down with our ratchet. Tighten up the other two. Now I'm just gonna use my ratchet to tighten these down. We're gonna come back afterwards and torque them to the final torque specification. down the four hub bolts to 89 foot-pounds. Install the axle nut and we'll tighten it down. I'll go ahead and lower this down and we'll torque it to 258 foot pounds. We're going to install two lug nuts here. Thread those in as far as you can. I'm going to use our large pry bar. It's going to be used as a stopper. We're going to torque our axle nut down to 258 foot-pounds. Once you've met that torque range, remove the pry bar and remove the lug nuts. What we want to pay attention to is this piston right here. This isn't a compressible piston. It's one that actually screws in. On this particular vehicle, they actually spin in counterclockwise. So we're going to use our tool here. These little tabs fit into the notches in the piston. Go ahead and turn that and spin this in. Now when you're tightening the piston in, you want to make sure that these two tabs are at 12 and 6, not 3 and 9 as this is positioned. So you're going to use your tool. So the holes are at 12 and 6. And the reason for this is on the back of the brake pad, there's going to be a little nub that fits inside this tab. So you want to make sure that that lines up with the brake pad. Once you've completed that, use your securing strap again to hold this up out of the way. I'm going to apply some anti-seize spray to the face of the hub here. Take that brake rotor, line that up, put that on. 
Open up your vehicle, it has the Torx bit screw. Go ahead and install that now. And get that started a few threads and then we'll zip that on down. I'm gonna remove my securing strap for the caliper. And I'm going to tuck that aside where it won't fall. Our next step is to install our caliper bracket. Put a little bit of blue Loctite on the caliper bracket bolt. And we're gonna line that up and get that started. Do the same for the lower bolt. Get that put in. Get that started. Now I like to thread these in as far as I can by hand. It'll just kind of speed things up. Then I'm just going to throw a ratchet on there, snug that down. Do the same for the upper. Installing our inboard brake pad. Here's one of those little nubs that actually fits into the notch in the piston. Line that up and slide that into your, slide that into the slider here. Do the same for the outboard pad. And once you have both of the pads installed, go ahead and slide your caliper over, push in on your slider pins. You want to make sure that your slider pins are positioned properly because they're narrow on one side and then there's extended tabs on the outside. So you want to make sure that the extended tabs are not in the way of the caliper. Little slide into place. I'm going to install the upper bolt first. Doesn't matter which bolt you put in first. I'm just throwing the top one in for now to get that caught a few threads. And we'll line up the bottom, position that, and thread that in. Go ahead and snug down the caliper bolts. On the top, we're going to use our gear wrench. We just have limited clearance here to the emergency brake cable there. I'm going to torque down these bolts to 26 foot pounds. And repeat for the upper. Now our caliper bracket bolts, we have to torque those to 81 foot pounds. Grab your wheel, line it up onto the wheel studs. Get all the lug nuts started by hand first. Once those are installed, I'm gonna go ahead and snug them all down. Using your 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and torque down the wheel to 95 foot pounds.
And if you're installing a hubcap, you want to look for the little notch on the bottom here that's going to fit the valve stem. Line that up and gently tap that cap into place and you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.